Well, here we are, January 4th, Monday. We're on some public ground here in Armstrong County. Um, we're going to take to the woods here pretty soon. Uh, got a fairly cold day, maybe about 32, 33 degrees. Sunny. Um, we we're actually hoping to have a little bit of powder on the ground, but this is what we're dealt with. So we're going to head up over the hill here. Um, it's the first time I'm going to have a bow in my hand for since the first week of November, so I'm a little bit excited. Uh, tagged out on a on an eight point in the, in the first week of November, so we're in here to try to feel a doe tag. We need to get some meat, so we're going to work our way across up in here. We're going to hunt, hunt over a cut cornfield. Uh, lots of corn left in the field. Just got cut two or three weeks ago, so stay tuned. Just uh, got up on about 40 feet, and uh, Dan Z realized that he didn't set his platform steep enough. I really leveled out fast, so he just went down to make his quick adjustment and then hopefully get up here and get a shot at one of these big doe that come through tonight. There we go, second try is working a lot better. Made the adjustments and slowly work his way up the tree. Should be settled in in the next 10 minutes, 5 minutes, and hopefully in the next couple hours something happens. Well, here we are, back again, day two, Pennsylvania's late archery season. We hunted here last night, just up over the hill here. Uh, we didn't have any luck, actually. We had a cut cornfield with, with uh, piles of corn in it. We had a guy walking around the field, which may have affected the deer. I guess we could attribute the, the bad hunt to that, but we're back again. We're gonna go a little deeper into the woods this time and see if we can't cut them off uh, on the way to the food source. So uh, maybe with the pressure here on public land, the deer may be a little bit more hesitant to come out in the field before before daylight, so we're gonna we're gonna get back in closer to the bedding area and see what happens.
me. got down out of the tree um, it's maybe 20 after 5 25 after 5 just put a good shot on a doe um, we watched the footage and everything looks good we're gonna we're gonna walk over get my arrow and uh, start the blood trail so stay tuned. okay well we got our arrow uh, got a rage two blade broadhead here screwed this broadhead on shot them about two years ago wasn't fully convinced about this broadhead um, just got a full pass through with blood, I mean, everywhere. We got a, a, a solid blood trail right from the beginning, just blood everywhere. So, we're gonna see what we can do here. We're gonna get on the get on the track. Spraying out of this deer the whole way right to here, and the whole way down right here. We got almost a 10 yard wide blood trail with this raised broad in. Right there. Okay. Let's get a see her. Nice second season archery deer. Well, we, we found our found our deer here. We put it all together. Um, we didn't think it was actually going to happen. We didn't have uh, that much shooting light left. Out of nowhere, the woods erupt. We had bucks chasing does all around us. Um, this doe came in. She stopped. I came to full draw behind some saplings. Uh, stayed at full draw for maybe 20, 30 seconds, I guess. Um, at least it seemed that way and uh, wasn't sure that she was actually going to take the two steps that, that I needed her to take before she took off. She did end up taking those steps and I, I bleeded, um, stopped her and made a good shot, double lung. She ran maybe, I don't know, 50, 60 yards and uh, piled up and I tell you, the broadhead performed well. Um, great hunt, great hunt. Late season, J January 4th, public, public land. Uh, Armstrong County, we're excited. Unlike most hunts where uh, the cameraman doesn't get any glory, I'm gonna go ahead and take some glory on this one because I was using a little flip video, which isn't the easiest thing in the world to record a hunt with. That was uh, as close as you can zoom in as possible and that was only a 20 yard shot. So that's as good as what we were working with. But just wanted to point out, like all of our deer, you got a tag in the ear. And when a guy makes a shot like that, all I can say is, you know, I'll go ahead and be a, <laughs> his friend and uh, do the gutting for him. So congratulations when we're 50, 60, 70 years old. This will give our kids something to laugh about.